Hey guys, my name is Ashish. I'm the founder of Nextpick Watt. Uh, today we are going to do some gadget reviews. Well, uh, if I look at it, uh, most of the gadget reviews are all about mitro, dosto, a lot of spec reviews. They are not really review of the gadget from a utility point of view, from a normal user point of view. Today we are going to attempt one with uh, iPhone XR, uh, a very controversial device if you look at it, uh, because a lot of people believe that Apple has actually, uh, you know, let let it go of a lot of features in XR just to match a decent price. So yeah, that's the XR, the blue color which I bought recently and uh, uh, got a pretty good deal for I think after all the cashbacks you. The 128 GB is for 75k, which I believe is a pretty good, uh, pretty decent amount for for an iPhone. Um, what's new and different about the XR? Well, like I said, the price point. Uh, XR sits between X and XS and XS Max, and uh, it is much better than 8 Plus. But at the same time, from a pricing point of view. The most important thing is it is also available in 128 GB variant, which I think is what most of the people would go for. I personally have iPhone 8 Plus, which is 256 GB, and even after uh, a year of usage, I don't think I have crossed more than you know 80 GB or so. So, uh, so 128 GB I believe is a very massive number, and uh, uh, to a certain extent. Um, XR also competes with a lot of Android phones. We'll come to that. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, kudos to Apple product managers. Uh, frankly, uh, this doesn't have a button. You know, so if you look at it, uh, XR doesn't have a button, but it takes you exactly two minutes to get comfortable with the the swiping and the overall process. Once you are so used to it you realize that actually you don't need a button. No phone needs a button, frankly speaking. In fact, I have an iPhone 8 Plus and I feel very uncomfortable when I'm using the button. Uh, do you really use 3D touch? I have, I mean, I hardly use it and I don't think I'm going to miss it. Now, uh, coming to the screen quality, a lot has been discussed about XR's uh, look and feel while, you know, an Apple fanboys might have a strong viewpoint. Uh, I'm absolutely enjoying the full notch view. And by the way, I also have a Poco F1, which is a full notch phone. So I feel very comfortable and uh, it won't be wrong to say that XR is a little bit of Androidification of Apple, which means that it's a mass product. It's not like XS or XMAC, XX Max, etc. etc. It's it's a mass product where Apple has taken a few decisions in terms of the product. For example, there's no 3D touch, but at the same time, the face ID is brilliant. In fact, as opposed to uh, a product like Poco F1, 3D, the, the Face ID on XR is super fast, is extremely fast and it doesn't even feel like, you know, that, okay, there was, there was even a lag. It is so fast. So uh, if you look at it from a screen point of view, yes, uh, it's full notch. Uh, like I said, it's Androidification because most of the new Android phones are are the notch phones or notch phones. So yes, uh, uh, XR does feel a little more bigger screen than say 8 plus or other phones. Um, looks, so uh, both the front and back is all glass. And Apple, uh, I believe they call it the most durable glass ever in a smartphone. Now, uh, I am not really going to contest that or going to drop it, but you have to go by what Apple says. And as far as the looks are concerned and the feel is concerned, it is very, very uh, uh, handy. Uh, you don't 
feel like the aluminium body which is you know uh, sometimes you know with for example 8 plus it almost feels like your, your phone will slip away but you don't have a similar experience here uh, the most important thing about XR is the battery life now the most important thing which every iPhone user worries about is the battery life the battery runs for more than a day in fact, uh, for me, uh, since I'm mostly using uh, Wi-Fi throughout the day and uh, my data, my Bluetooth, I listen to a lot of podcasts, I get a lot of uh, calls. Uh, even after that, I'm getting one and a half day battery life, which is phenomenal for an iPhone. Yes, my Poco F1 was easily two days or you know 1.8 days. But with iPhone, I'm getting around one to one and a half days, and I'm quite happy with that uh, performance. So uh, the most important thing is you get the same A12 uh, Bionic chip, which is present in iPhone XS, all the latest iPhones. So you don't have to worry about performance, even though uh, a lot of reviews that I have read is uh, they're all concerned about the, the, the fact on the RAM, 3GB, 3GB RAM. But given Apple, uh, expect integrations, expect uh, uh, better integration in terms of speed and performance. And uh, yes, I mean, iPhone XR does support dual SIM, uh, the eSIM, uh, which is available in India only with Airtel and Geo. I have not used it, so I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, and now, uh, camera quality. I guess, uh, in general, I'm a huge fan of Apple and iPhone camera quality. Uh, in this, I have clearly experienced one element of camera, which is the machine learning part. Uh, Apple, so the XR camera is able to figure out an object from the surrounding. And the pictures are very sharp. Maybe we'll show you some of these pictures uh, in the video or in the article. But there is pretty much very little difference between, say, uh, an 8 plus camera and XR. So why others have uh, taken down the XR that, you know, okay, this is a mediocre camera. I, I think for a normal user, unless you're a photographer and your life and your money depends on your camera, uh, quality, I don't think you have to worry about it. Uh, my final verdict, go for it if you are not a huge Apple fanboy or a fangirl, you need an Apple iPhone which integrates with all your other products. At the same time, you want to experience the latest and the fastest phone, which is also future-proof, you know, given the, the chip and uh, and all the other features, I think uh, this is uh, probably the best in terms of what Apple has to offer. Of course, you have money, you go for XS, but you know, or XS Max, etc., etc., et et But if you are looking for something which is audible, something where there's a bang for the buck, XR it is.